Um, what would you say about this when you look at that? This is Miss Indiana. Uh, here, she says she's an average American woman. Well, when she took to the stage in her bikini during the Miss USA pageant, well, that's exactly what some have said on social media. But we're asking, is size four normal? Here to weigh in on this debate is our own Dr. Steve Salvatore, along with the reigning Miss Long Island, Michelle Medoff, and plus size model and image consultant Bernadette Vida. Nice to have all of you here this morning. Yeah. So let's break okay. it down right here because, I mean, this was like, we, nobody, I don't even know who won Miss USA, <laughs> but I do know Miss Indiana, which is really, right. really funny because her body and what happened on stage is just going viral. So here we have her. We want to show you this full screen of who she is. She's 5'8 and five, uh, size 4. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Steve, what do you think about that? And then we'll talk about the CDC comparison of the average American woman, 5'3 and size 12 to 14. All right. I, I think what we have to do is we have to yep. differentiate between average, what the average American woman is, mm -hmm. and what we consider normal and healthy. I think those are two separate things. Okay. Right now, with the population, about 30% of people are overweight or obese. That's going to blow the average, right? Yeah. That means the average is not going to be necessarily normal or healthy. Okay. So at 5'8", the normal weight, okay. which should be, is between 130 and 160 pounds, okay? And the BMI should be between 18 and 25. Now, I don't know how that fits into sizes and dress sizes. You guys could comment more about that. Yeah, right. Because I don't know, what does that mean, size four? As a guy, I'm like, okay, what does okay. that mean, size you're four? You're looking never... at pounds. You're like, how many pounds right. are you? One th you're saying between 130 and at 160. Five, eight, between 130 and 160 is normal, right. but that may not be the average in America because 30% of people in this country are overweight. All right, Michelle, we've got to bring you into this because you've competed in a number of pageants. And let's talk about the idea of skinnier is better. And especially being on stage, I guess when we saw her come out, compared to everybody else that we saw on stage, for viewers, she looked normal. Right, and the first thing to remember is that there's three phases of competition, and swimsuit is only one of them. Yeah. It's not a bikini contest, so we're not going for skinny. There's nowhere in the contract that says you need to be this size, this weight. We're, yeah. It's it's a fitness, health, lifestyle But was she pageant shape when you saw her in her bikini? I think that it's not fair for anyone to say what healthy is for someone else. Yeah. From my experience, yeah. Here's the whole, th This is the video that I want to see. This is her in her bikini. Right. The whole process is about being healthy and getting into shape, and what someone looks like not only on stage next to other contestants, but on camera on stage is right. totally different than what they look like. She's 5'8 in size 4. I mean, let's all do the math. I mean, we're all girls, Dr. Steve, and <laughs> yeah. she's tall and she's, she's tall, long she's and lean. Small. And I mean, yeah. we're looking at other people kind of come out in their bikinis if we can show them. So, Bernadette, you know, you're a plus size model. I, I've seen you around. You're a blogger. You kind of do everything. We've talked about labels and women. What do you think about this? Skinny, plus size, average, all the labels we have for each other? Labels are not going to go anywhere. Yeah. People are going to call me what they will. I'm a curvy woman. I know who I am. I'm plus size. Whatever you want to call me, they're not going to go away. We're a country of labeling. We mm -hmm. label, we hashtag everything. Yeah. And it's a way to identify. But uh, I'm looking at this girl. I don't see anything wrong with this no, girl. No, listen, she's an athletic woman. But That's I guess when you see the blonde next to her, who's a little bit taller, a little bit skinnier. Dr. Steve, you're, what do you think? Well, I mean, I think I think she looks healthy, yeah. and I think she looks athletic. I think if they look too thin or too skinny, it's not as appealing to me. But yeah. that might be her natural body type, a skinny person. Some people are naturally skinny. Right, Some exactly. people are naturally bigger. Some yeah. people are some way in the middle. And, and that's the thing. If it's natural for you and it's healthy for you, then that's what's healthy for Did you. Did it surprise you being in pageants? Because i got to imagine it's very strenuous to get into pageant shape. It, it's it's very difficult to get into pageant shape and the really difficult thing for me in all of this is that while everyone's praising her for being normal which I do too uh, even though you know normal is relative yeah. it hurts me that people say the other contestants look like bag of bones and mm -hmm. thank God she oh, doesn't yeah. because they work really hard for their bodies and they're all pretty healthy if they're not naturally thin and I think that that's just not fair to the other contestants. I just hate the whole bathing suit competition. I'm always <laughs> like, you know, I know mm. you're physically fit. It'd be great for them to like do an exercise routine or something like that. Why do they have to parade around in a bathing suit? I think it just sort of objectifies it, and I have an issue with that. But go yeah. ahead. The one thing I would change about her as an image consultant is her bathing suit type. Yeah. What she was wearing. But they all have to she's, wear the same thing. Well, right. she was, she's, it's a costume. She has an athletic body. Yeah, but it's and a costume, Bernadette. Okay, it's a costume. Fine. It's a costume. They all have to wear the thing. It's like yeah. they're, they're judged on one bathing suit. They all have to wear it, right, Michelle? Yeah, so for nationals, yeah, they're all given one. A all right, choice the same of one. swimsuits. Well, there, there's like three, okay. and they get to choose, but it's all the same designer. But can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you've been on the stage before. Did you feel like you were being scrutinized to another level, even though you said when you were competing, you were also like 50? 
15 pounds lighter. You know, you were saying <laughs> well, that. Yeah, well, and you're you know, kind of shy about it right now. You're you're literally getting on stage to be judged and I think that more than a scrutiny it yeah. takes a really secure brave woman yeah. to be like I'm gonna go on stage to be judged right now yeah in front of millions of people in the case of Miss USA and I think that a really important thing to look at is clearly your body isn't everything so the question of if she's in swimsuit shape for Miss USA or not she made the top 20 she yeah. she ended up at Miss USA right right so that's really hard to do in and of itself yeah so we should congratulate her on Absolutely. that Absolutely. We should, we, Suki we should really discuss the fact that she said she worked hard she's proud of her body and she was confident and she was her best version up there yeah that's what we should be teaching young girls yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean you are two young girls and you're always talking about yeah. be the best that you oh, can be oh yeah it drives me crazy it's like listen and your body type is not to be waif thin. To accept your body type, accept your genetics, and work within that range. Work within that range. Love your body. Love the skin you're in. Mm -hmm. That's something we really That's need right. to know. And kudos to all the women for getting up there on stage with their, you know, bikinis. That's difficult enough. I can't even mm -hmm. imagine. And have somebody say, you know, anything. I mean, it's difficult. And we all know. Just on a side note, that um, television adds 20 pounds to. What <laughs>